Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Native, the makers of deodorant that is aluminum free, cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. Most importantly, it works. My husband has been using Native for years now and it works. He smells great even after a run and it provides 72 hour odor protection. His favorite scent is charcoal and whenever I smell it, it reminds me of him. It smells great, clean, and fresh without smelling perfumey. And it goes on smoothly. It goes back like that. Native's plastic free packaging is made with FSC certified paper. And Native is a proud partner with 1% for the planet, donating 1% of the plastic free sales to environmental nonprofits. And with each plastic free purchase, you are saving 37 grams of single use plastic from entering landfills. The plastic free packaging also uses the same deodorant formula. And if you have sensitive skin like my husband, Native also has a sensitive skin line. This is aloe and green tea which smells lovely. Again, fresh, clean. This one smells slightly floral without smelling overpowering or perfumey. The Sensitive line is baking soda free and vegan. There are lots of scents to choose from and Native has just launched their candy shop collection, which was inspired by your favorite candies, including gummy bears, sour belts, and cinnamon hearts. Three plastic free deodorants normally go for $39, but if you use my code ME10, you can receive them for 26. That's more than 33% off. You can also use that code for 20% off body washes and lotions. Big thanks to Native for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. Alrighty, my lovelies, today we're going to be making homemade Nutella. I was inspired by a bowl of hazelnuts that I had sitting on my kitchen counter for the longest time and I said, you know what? It's time to use those up. And so I started thinking about recipes and I said, what about Nutella? If you're not familiar with Nutella, Nutella is a beautiful chocolate hazelnut spread that my eldest child loves very much. I have to confess that I myself am not a huge fan of Nutella. Granted, I do love chocolate, I do love hazelnuts, but the Nutella itself I've always found to be very, very sweet and not as chocolatey as I want it to be. In my research, I have to say I did learn a lot about Nutella. And that's what I love about my job. I learned so much about food, making, history, science, and Nutella did not disappoint. I watched a video by My Name is Andong. Love Andong's channel, by the way. If you don't know him, I'll put a link down below. Really beautifully made videos and tons of history and information. So according to Andong's video and Wikipedia and some other sources I found on the internet, I'll put links to all those in the description box. Nutella was invented in Italy in the Piedmont region, which is known for their beautiful hazelnuts. And the nuts were added to the chocolate to stretch it right so cool love history and the invention that comes from necessity right the original combination of chocolate and hazelnut was not a spread it was actually a chocolate called janduja and it is still made today i purchased some and it looks like this so janduja is named after a character who wears a tricorn hat and that's why it has a particular shape like this here are the candies. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. And this foil wrapper, and it has a triangular shape. How cool. And there's also the Janduja spread. So that is more reminiscent of Nutella, but I can tell already that it's much darker. So very curious to see what this tastes like. Let's try the candy first. Do this has a little evidence of blooming on it, so it looked like it got hot at some point and re-solidified. How disappointing is that? This is what happens when you order online. If you go to a candy shop, you can say, listen, I want one that's not bloomed. Hmm, we might have to be talking to the people I ordered this from. At any rate, the flavor should be correct. The texture might not be. Here we go. It's Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, oh my gosh, the texture. I was a little concerned that the texture would be affected and perhaps it was because of the blooming, but the mouthfeel is lovely. It's so smooth. Initially, you think maybe it's gonna be waxy. Granted, it is winter here in New England, but immediately it just melts in your mouth. It's not waxy. And the hazelnut flavor is lovely. Very hazelnutty and sweet. It's as sweet as a milk chocolate and the chocolate you do taste 
does taste very reminiscent of milk chocolate, really melty and sweet, but the mouthfeel is lovely. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. Try not to get ones that are bloom though. My kids are gonna love these. And now let's compare it to the paste. There it is. And let's see the texture here. Yeah. There it is. All right, let's give that a taste. Ooh, mmm. That too is very smooth and creamy. And it has a similar mouthfeel quality to peanut butter. Kind of just sticks a bit to your teeth and the roof of your mouth. This to me is much more hazelnutty than the chocolate itself. Very intensely hazelnutty and nutty and roasted. And then you get this kind of chocolate flavor too, but less milk chocolate. This to me doesn't taste as dairied as the chocolate. This is lovely. So good, I'm so glad I bought that. Now I have a little bit of a benchmark. Next, we're gonna try the actual Nutella. So here is the Nutella. Let's give this a taste. This is my Nutella, so I'm gonna use the same spoon. And that's what it looks like. A little bit lighter, here we go. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I'm doing a little side by side because yes, this is confirmation that this is very, very sweet in comparison to the Guanduya. And the hazelnut flavor is definitely behind the sugar. The sugar is the first thing I noticed. And the next thing I noticed is a chocolatey flavor that reminds me of chocolate donuts. You know, that chocolate icing that you find on donuts. That's what this tastes like more to me than hazelnut. Mm -hmm. It's still good, but I like this one better. Alrighty, now let's make a homemade version. <laughs> so let me tell you what I did to prepare my hazelnuts. The hazelnuts that I had were in their shells. So I used my handy dandy nut cracker, which if you've seen my black walnut video, <laughs> I use that little handy dandy machine to crack black walnuts, but it also works great for any kind of nut. So I adjusted it, cracked a bunch of hazelnuts very quickly, and here they are. Now, as you can see, the hazelnuts have skins on them and we need to remove them. So I have here one cup of hazelnuts in their skins. Now the recipes that I found, most of them require two cups and I want a good amount of finished paste. So I had to get more nuts. And in the store, I was able to find skinless hazelnuts. So I'm gonna put the skinned ones on this side. Okay, now I'm gonna place them in a preheated 400 degree oven and bake them for six to 10 minutes until we start smelling a really lovely roasted nut flavor. You have to be very careful with nuts. They easily burn because they contain so much oil. The goal is the skins to get really dry and start to kind of crack. So I will be back in 10 minutes once these have roasted off. Okay. Okay, our nuts are about ready. They've been in there for about six minutes. Let's go ahead and grab them. Ooh, it's smelling good. And you can see here, the skins have cracked. See that? And these have a nice little nutty color to them, toasted color. So I've got a damp dishcloth here. I'm gonna grab the ones that have their skins and pop them into the cloth. Then we're just gonna use the dishcloth and rub the skins off. A little bit of water on the dishcloth helps give you a little more friction and get the skins off. And just like that, look how beautiful. We have beautiful toasted skin-free hazelnuts. I'm gonna grab a bowl actually. All right, toasted nuts. This actually works really well. If you've got little heat gloves like I do, heat proof gloves, just rub them in your hands and it takes off the skin. Very nice. So, hazelnuts, roasted, peeled. Now we're going to make our chocolate hazelnut spread. You will need a blender or a food processor. I happen to have a Vitamix, which is really great for getting something super smooth. If you make this in a food processor, more than likely your hazelnuts will be a little bit grittier in your finished spread, but it'll still taste delicious. So, in go the nuts. 
I'm gonna talk now because once I turn this on, it's gonna be very loud. We're gonna start on low speed and just chop them up. And then it'll turn into a meal, kind of a ground hazelnut powder. But we keep continuing to blend this until it's smooth and creamy like peanut butter. We want this to be as smooth as possible so we have that really nice silky mouthfeel. So we're gonna grind this until it turns liquefied into like a peanut butter in consistency. Alrighty, let's get started. So make sure your lid is on properly. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's been a while, right? It's been a while. Forgot to turn on the power strip. All right, here we go. So low speed until it makes a meal, and then we'll increase the speed to get it nice and liquidy. It smells very good, by the way. Very nutty. Periodically, we want to scrape down the sides. The material is pushed up so the blades aren't touching it, so to mash it down. There it goes, it's starting to loosen up. All right, let me check it now. Look at all that steam. Whew. Oh yeah, okay. That is smooth. All right, machine, you are impressive. So total, that was about two minutes, I would say. So this is what it looks like. Very drippy and kind of, <laughs> I'm getting it everywhere, but very smooth. Okay, now the rest of this is super simple. We're just gonna add all the other ingredients right into the blender. So the other ingredients are sugar. We're using powdered sugar. And I'm gonna reserve some powdered sugar. Taste it and see what it tastes like. If it needs more sweetness, I will add some. Because vanilla is listed as an ingredient on Nutella, I'm gonna add a boop of that. Boop, boop. A good pinch of salt, kosher salt there. And of course, the chocolate. Nice quality cocoa powder. I'm using natural cocoa powder here, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Dutch process too just so it has more of that kind of, yeah. Dutch processed cocoa powder tends to have a chocolater intensity, while cocoa powder, natural cocoa powder, has a more acidity. Both of them are lovely. So add that to that. I just made a utter mess. And some oil. Bloop, 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 bloop. We may need to add more, depending on how liquidy this gets. Alrighty, here we go. Do this on low. Ooh, hear the machine really kind of work in that? good though. Oh, I think, I think we're just about there. Just got to get this last bit of powdered sugar in and I think we're ready. All right, let's give it a taste and see if it needs any more sugar. All right, just, uh-huh. Ooh, that's nice. I think I'm going to add a little bit more sugar, just a little. All righty, now let's put our precious homemade Nutella into a container. All righty, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh, this is the consistency. Luscious and shiny. Look at that. It's like the perfect amount. 
beautiful. Alrighty, here we go with the doggy mouse. Mm. So good. This is a little bit warm because my hazelnuts were just toasted. And I think the blender also creates some heat as well. It is so lovely. So because it's warm, it's got a little bit more of a liquidier texture, but still thick. It's lovely. This is much more similar to the Janduya, and I love it. Much, much more hazelnut forward. You get a lot of that nutty, nutty flavor, followed by the chocolate with the sugar, instead of the sugar being first. I love it. It's just perfectly balanced. You can also experiment with peanuts. Deb over at Smitten Kitchen on her blog has made a recipe with peanuts and says it's absolutely divine, but I really, really love the hazelnut. So if you have something in your kitchen or in your home that's languishing about needing a little bit of attention, why not consider making something out of it? You might be pleasantly surprised and have yourself a great big jar of homemade Nutella because of it. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Native for sponsoring this video. Three plastic-free deodorants normally go for $39, but if you use my code ME10, you can receive them for 26, which is over 33% off. You can also use that code to receive 20% off any Native body washes or lotions. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, subscribe, like, ring that notification bell, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Bye.